it's been way too long, hasn't it? Yes, I know, I've been absent from my channel for quite a few months now. If we look at my most recently published vlog, it was about Christmas and New Year's, and now it's almost Easter. <laughs> we just had the most wonderful sunny weekend around. I've been out and about, I've taken some footage that I want to show you today, and I am truly back now. First of all, I want to thank you, my new subscribers, who have clicked that subscribe button even though I hadn't put anything new on the channel. I bet it was all of my previously wonderful travel vlogs that I have published here. <laughs> and I will bring you more of that, I promise, of the same quality, even better if I can brag about it myself. Also, thank you to my old subscribers, the ones who just stuck with me through the years, through, you know, some previous absences that I had from this channel and all of the stress and strifes that have challenged all of us in recent years. It has been like work-related stress as well and all sorts of other aspects um, related also to me having moved house that kept me from the channel this time as well. And uh, yeah, you can see here my very new raspberry colored sofa that finally completely com completed my flat. This is what I'm going to talk to you about. Let's catch up today and I promise you, you'll have plenty more reasons to stick with me from now on. Welcome to my channel. If you are here for the first time, I am Catalina George. I am a writer and a vlogger and also a Romanian who's been living in the UK for 11 years now. I moved to this flat at the end of 2021 after a few years that we know have been challenging for most of us. I'm very proud to have this little flat just for myself now because my journey in the UK hasn't always been really uh, pleasant or easy. It has had a lot of strife and stress, but I am very proud of being here and of everything that I have achieved. What I want to do today is to show you around my flat, show you around the place, the place where I live now, which is a small town in Leicestershire. I will introduce you to Leicester as well, which is now a city I love and I live quite close to it. So let's crack on with today so I can show you all the pleasant little things that bring me joy in my everyday life where I live right now. If you have watched my previous videos but don't know my Instagram, this new bob haircut might be a surprise for you. Maybe you didn't even recognize me today. Uh, I think you did, particularly my voice always gives me out. I'm told it's uh, quite a recognizable voice <laughs> and the accent, I'm sure. Now, um, if you want to follow me on Instagram as well, I will just tag it here. What I publish on Instagram is a lot about the places that I visit, landscape photography, flowers, I love flowers, some of my coloring, reading is attractive, a series about what I read, um, just to encourage people to get more into reading and uh, share my love of books, and also my pole fitness because I've been very active with pole, I'm getting really stronger right now, keeping fit, and it's one of those things that help me really keep energized and balanced and give me a really, really good feeling. Now, another thing that helps me like that is coloring. Um, I've been doing it over the last week because I am in between jobs now. I'm doing a lot of job applications, a lot of job interviews. I want for my next job to be a really, really good match for me. That hasn't happened so much 
um, in the last year since I've graduated on my master's degree. I've accumulated a lot of very valuable experience in marketing. I've even run and uh, made very successful a YouTube channel for a previous employer. That's it. I can brag about that truly. But I, I am yet to find that company where my creativity and skills will be a really, really good match with what they want to achieve and with their values as well. Now that's a completely different story. Oh, this was also part of a setup for um, pre-interview task, which meant I had to record a video about a hobby. I don't know, maybe I'll show you some of the footage from that task in this vlog as well. But before I just bore you to death with um, all of the details of my um, very exciting professional life, let's go out and then we'll come back and I will show you the flat as well after you get to see some of the little peculiar things about this town where I'm living now. This small town in Leicestershire where I moved at the end of 2021 seems to have quite a history. You wouldn't believe it, but there is even a medieval moat. <laughs> My friend Sophie from Birmingham, when she visited and we went out on a walk to the park or through the town, when she saw this medieval moat, she said straight away what it was. Um, She's a lot better recognizing these things as, than I am, it seems. Also, the town has developed quite a lot in Victorian times. All across from the area where I live uh, to the other side of it, um, down towards A47 that leads into Leicester, you can see former factory buildings. Right next to me, on the street parallel to mine, there are two of them. They look like they've been transformed into flats. Lots of flats as well. So it seems like a very good, affordable place where to live. Small, but also still really pleasant. It has a local library, which I joined this week. Because I had more time being at home in between jobs. I've been meaning to join since I've moved, but now was the right time to do so. Um, I will show you a bit more about the local library. I want to make a vlog about libraries here in Leicestershire. I also want to join the big one in the city, in Leicester. There are quite a few little cafes, a couple of gift shops. The park is really nice um, with this line of trees around it leading all the way to the big church on the hilltop. <laughs> uh, the whole town is kind of perched on, on this ridge, on this hill, which gives quite a nice view from certain areas down over the like lower region around the town. Just behind me is the medieval mode and Bailey, but I think the structure on top of it is contemporary or I don't know, maybe the Victorian spirit is just for fun, just for the people of the town to enjoy it and the kids love it when they play around. But my friend Sophie was really right to spot it because then we found a panel in the town centre talking about it. I wanted to show it to you before we went back to my flat so I can show you around the flat and tell you what I like most about living there. Now the reason I took this flat was really um, related to my previous job because I was commuting from Birmingham to here close to Leicester and it wasn't really a great commute. I am still really happy to have got this flat because it's, uh, the rent is really affordable, the place is really nice and cozy, it feels like home now for me, I've turned it into my space into a space where I can uh, find myself. I still have to add, add a few bits to it, but actually not that many. I think what I want to add to it is more plants. 
Uh, I have some already, as you can see. Another shelf here um, for all of the stuff that I've got hidden in that box. But I'm really pleased of how I managed to put it together to furnish it with um, the shelves for my books. For all of my cats decorations <laughs> because I love cats but I am sadly so allergic to them all of the other bits that I really love having around such as stones and rocks and board games and um, Lots of jewellery. I have a few spots for my jewellery. That's just for my bracelets. Um, oh, that is a Christmas decoration that made it in there. But yeah, all sorts of bracelets. I must remember to wear them as well. I am very, very happy with my raspberry coloured um, sofa which I ordered from Sophology. It's very comfortable. I even slept on it when I had a friend coming over and I gave her the bedroom. There's Panda, <laughs> my Pandi, uh, my flat warming gift from my, my ex-partner. We are not together any longer, but we're very fond of each other and we're really, really good friends. <laughs> and um, this is my feminist art wall. I'm so pleased to have found the pole fitness um, insp inspired art and the other two pieces came from um, one of the fairs in Birmingham. There's a <laughs> that is my that is my jewelry box. Now my bedroom is also nice and cozy. It's not huge, but it's absolutely fine for what I need. It gets quite a bit of light and I've started spending time reading in bed in the mornings at the weekend because it gets so much light in the morning that's why I want to put a few flowers on flowers plants on a small shelf I will show you how much storage space I also have in here in the wardrobe and not only it's those cupboards as well because this has been one of the reasons why I chose this flat
I hope you enjoyed this tour that I gave you of the small town where I live now and also of my little cozy flat. We're going to wrap it up here in the bedroom where we get this like soft light now in the evening and which also is always really quiet. Now, um, of course, when we were on the main road, there are more cars uh, passing by and everything, but the whole town and the area where I am just feels so quiet. Whenever she comes over to visit my friend Sophie from Birmingham, who lives in Kings Heath there, she's like, oh, she always sleeps so well here because it is so quiet all the time. It's something I came to also appreciate and enjoy now. I have the city clothes. Leicester is quite an amazing place to go out. Uh, very vibrant, very cultural, very diverse as well. And I promise to take you with me and introduce you to Leicester really soon, as soon as possible. Also, I want to introduce you more to the countryside here in Leicestershire. Um, the really nice gardening center, local gardening center with a beautiful cafe, beautiful tea rooms that I've discovered. Then Dobby's, my favorite chain garden center, gardening center that is also really close by. I will introduce you to all of these things. We will go back to Birmingham as well. Um, and at the end of April, I'm going with my friend Sophie to a European city that I absolutely love. I've been there before, but it's never been featured in my vlog, so keep an eye on the channel. I promise to bring lots of footage and good, good stuff back from there. I also still have footage for three vlogs that I filmed in Romania in September. My bad, <laughs> I didn't get around to doing them, but we will do all of that now. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and if you did, give me thumbs up for it, because that way YouTube knows that it's appreciated. Also, if you've enjoyed this vlog and you are enjoying my videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. This is it for today. Share any thoughts you had or tell me what's been going on in your life recently in comments below. Until next time then, ciao for now!